Hello guys. Hello guys. Welcome to Ben's Plug. So for today's uh, video, we have a 1,500. Uh, but this one is we are going to do the load test for this, and uh, we will check what is uh, can do about this uh, generator. If in case there is some trouble or in case of there is some issues with the wiring configuration, so we will see that one. And I will show you how to do the load tests for this uh, generator and for the um, connections and also for the uh, testing time for hundred percent. So let's go outside so we can see also. From here we have two PC set of 24 volt battery and this one is uh, high current. So we're going to first the positive both of the battery. From here, we're going to try to do the configurations as well for this uh, 6120 module 380 and 36, 35, 36, 36 is not clean. By the way, this one is uh, there's no ECM for this. We are using this one, uh, Pandaros for the speed control. for the 1500 kVA so this one is 1200 kilowatt for the power factor and uh, the current is one is yes. uh, is around 2084 2084 so 2084 the full load current tagal pa yan
but since this one is there is no option so this one is just uh, easy I'm writing now to our module so apparently we're done for the configurations okay. so since we're done for our configurations we take a look from our module if there is any alarm so now here we have emergency stop and we have uh, also a uh, wrong connections i think so we're going to uh, check uh, those alarms and we're going to rectify this one so emergency stop we're going to do uh, check the wiring if there is missing with the link or if it is no supply or uh, it is uh, wrong wiring itself so i'm going to use the multimeter to check if there are any uh, wrong connections or miss uh, connected for our wiring Atin to? Atin to? Atin? So I'll just uh, arrange this um, diameter so we can see there is voltage coming through our uh, connections from here so find negative and we will check also there is some voltage for that so here so we have so here so here is nothing so there is no uh, voltage going to your number three supposedly we have uh, we can get uh, 24 volts from here so we need to see there is no voltage flowing from this wiring so we need to check which wire is going to our um, terminal so i will go from the uh, resistance so we can check on this so over here mm -hmm. so we have three is over here so this is the connections over here so this number seven so this is number seven for our so we just put some link in order to have a voltage going through here so i will just uh, cut from there and i will bring it from here first the link that i am taking from that uh, toolbox so we will try to put it here the link so we insert just like that then we will check if uh, the alarms is already here so with that alarm is already receipted so that is only the missing the link so meaning to say that we can uh, receive the voltage from this uh, number three so we have now it should supposed to be a uh, 24 volt going through this uh, number three here so if you put the voltage so we have now a 26 volts from our multimeter so meaning it's okay now so we have other problems we need to check why uh, this uh, uh, ECM if we on this uh, supply it's already have a uh, the solenoid is already uh, active supposedly it is not so we're going to check that one why it's already have so if i remove this sorry 
about back and we will try to on again so it's not coming so also the relay is not popping up so that is supposed to be um, wrong this one supposed to be this connection should be going to this number uh, 318 so we will check uh, the voltage as well for the 318 if it is uh, half if I will press the relay so this 318 is uh, connected from our relay so this is our relay so it's going out from our terminal box so I will put this um, this stair here and I will try to uh, press this relay if having a voltage output so it's nothing here so there is no voltage output so we will check it now why there is no voltage output from here so which is 86 is going to 318 so 318 so we will check uh, here also why this is no voltage output so we'll go from the resistance check where it is 86 is going through so 86 86 I think we're going to the AC one Just remove the cover for our air filter so our engine will not uh, be suffocated once it is running. It's a little bit difficult because of the paint. <laughs> Let's take it from here and we'll put aside. So this time we are going to try to uh, pump the fuel from our uh, primary filter. So just remove this one so it make it easy to uh, so hard. I think we'll find another way uh, to other side so we will try to remove from this side yeah I'm busy uh, remember this way and we talk for this uh, so, we, we, we so we're going to 
um, release the fuel from here so in order to remove the um, the air uh, from this uh, generator so at least I have the bucket from here so we can uh, uh, catch the fuel instead it's really scattered oh yeah it's uh, a little bit hard this is the fuel line from our intake which is going to our uh, what we call here is the fuel gallery so we need to make sure that the fuel will go through here and there is no uh, present of a uh, air so we need to remove that one so that's why we're going to uh, do it this way. You know, 27. Yeah. So we'll just remove this one here. And then we will try to manually pump. So we can uh, remove this uh, not necessary. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, so there is some fuel. Oil. Now I will do some manual pump for our uh, uh, for our uh, fuel intake. Not reaching. Dan dan lang ah, kasi uh, mapaliguan ako rito. No, it is uh, luck. It is. So much fuel, and uh, uh, just just uh, okay. So we'll check this one. We'll check also from our fuel. Uh, there is still not uh, reaching the fuel from here. So we need to remove also this side. Still empty. So we need to find some ways where we can remove uh, this, uh, no, no, it's a uh, different, uh, what is this, uh, this is, if I remove it also rotating this one, so I need to have other, yeah. Mahirap kasi ito i-cuts pag naano mo to Pansan hindi na masalpak, mahirap Kaya ayoko dito Minsan eh, Meron kasi itong ano eh oh. Yung tawag, tiwag tawag dito yung Pinaka ano nya Can you try it now? So if fuel is come out from here, so we will check also to the other side. If it is now if fuel is coming out but still have air going. So we need to remove that. Or do it yeah. that is okay so we need to uh, lock from here 
Just tight it properly. Do not over tight. So it's enough. So we'll check over the side if it is now coming. No, I think it's okay, but still have ear. Now it's okay. Oh. Stop, stop, stop. Hindi ka nga doon ng ano. Kuha ka ng kapra sa loob. Yeah. So now, this tight. And very low. So, side punasan mo lang yung ano so also uh, fuel is uh, reaching this way so just we make sure that all the fuel is here to our uh, gallery so there will not, uh, there is no problem when uh, the time we uh, fired up this uh, uh, generator so we'll just make it uh, prepared for this so once it is done we can start uh, crank okay, since we are done for the fuel uh, connections and fuel bleeding we already removed the uh, air from our system so now it is already ready so now we're going to uh, put the muffler so we can uh, I mean after this we're going to uh, start the generator which one? Now, it is uh, bringing the muffler from here. More? Okay, since we are already ready for our muffler, and uh, I think uh, we are already ready. Uh, we have already oil, and we have already uh, coolant. This one is ready, and the fuel is already uh, uh, connected. Now, I'm going to start for uh, three times attempt, and we will try to fire it up if this engine will uh, start and fire up so just uh, now uh, i'm going to start up i mean crank up so let's start and crank <laughs> One more. Okay, so we already tried to uh, crank. We'll try to remove the cover. This one is not Tala, LEC. This is a uh, LEC alternator. Remove the cover for our EVR so we can adjust if we need to adjust necessary. Can you hold it, bro? So it will... My hands is. Uh, yeah. Here is our EVR. So this one is D350. So this is a uh, digital EVR. So we think 
uh, if uh, we need to do the configuration or not so we will just uh, start this generator if any uh, uh, fluctuation or any need adjustment we will try to do the adjustment from here if it's not working so we need to do the configurations we'll try to uh, start uh, the generator and uh, after that we're going to uh, adjust the voltage also so I hope uh, everything will be fine and uh, there is no problem at all. Start your double check already. Uh, everything is fuel is open, everything is all important. Just double check and then uh, okay, let's try. Start. Huh? There is something wrong I think with our wiring so we will double check again why it is not firing up okay so now since uh, the engine is not running even we try to start up uh, still uh, not running just only cranking so now we are going to connect the diagnostic tools which is uh, this one is what we call the diagnostic tool so we can see what is the status of our engine if there is some failure or alarm in our ECM so we can see it from here and we have the two plugs here so, so injection disabled and engine is no speed bro can you try to start up that one there if this one will remove the start uh, Ah, uh, with really yeah. Now let's see ah. if uh, yeah. Ah. Uh. So as you can see, the the injection is still disabled. So meaning to say our connections is not having a good supply so we are going to check uh, again okay now we are ready guys so used to this problem you know what is uh, there is only uh, wrong connections between our um, G connections from the ACM which is uh, the the common of the the wire which is in our standard here is number 18 which is um, we inserted in the wrong um, connection that's why it is not uh, starting yesterday and uh, we're done uh, rectifying that one so now we are ready to start this generator so we're going to do the load test for this day and uh, we will put 100% load and of course we were going to check uh, if any shutdowns and alarms we are encountering, encountering for uh, during our load test so we're going to uh, of course rectify and show you how we will do that in this uh, test so let's start this generator so we are going to finish this uh, testing so anyways I will just only start from here in our uh, control room so uh, we can uh, see uh, how we are doing this uh, test from here so i will start from now so start let's check what is the voltage now Um, 
thing check the fuel line fuel fuel it checks often open just check check first the fuel just open so I'm going to start back because I thought there is uh, we forgot to open the fuel so I'll start and uh, we'll adjust the voltage
just finalize our test report.